Hey guys, this is Jack. Um, I've been playing around with Obsidian for the last two days just to be able to create this uh, thing uh, about chapter timelines. So what I wanted to achieve was to create notes with some uh, metadata in them that would allow me to put them on the timelines. Now, timelines are a bit tricky. So the, all, all of this is about writing a book, right? So timelines are a bit tricky because there are like several timelines in the book. Like there is one when one of the characters is doing something and then say there is another one when another character is doing something. I would like to put them into the chapters. I would like to like with a very simple um, like a, a few words description I would like to describe the event on the timeline and be able to jump to the event um, which um, which is happening now it's not by default creating a timeline is not very difficult uh, and there are like great really great um, um, add-ons for that in Obsidian. However, they didn't exactly do what I wanted, so let me show you the kind of different phases of what I did and how I did it. So le let's start with the events themselves. So in the notes section, uh, this, this setup is something I've uh, copied from one of the YouTube uh, creators. Um, it's, it's an interesting setup kind of limits the middle one, but the sides contain a lot of useful information. So in the notes section, I've created timelines. In the timelines, I've created a folder for each def separate timeline. Plus I created two notes for the start and the end. Um, how does a note look like? So for example, the, in the paranoia timeline, I have three events. Let's open this one. Pranoi even two. Um, these are the header values which are like normally in invisible, and this is the content of it. The whole timeline rendering is based on what you sp specify here. So and basically what I said, even two is in chapter three. I will use the event name as ghost appears on the radar again and the timeline will be paranoia, right? It, I could actually use this folder name as a timeline. I just decided that instead of that, I will just, um, ju just manually specify that because that is a bit more flexible in fact. All right, so so my first try was the so-called release timeline add-on. Now the release timeline add-on is a tricky one. Um, it's pretty close to what I needed actually on the first view. You, you can see that it, um, it shows all the events in the chapter, one after another. They are actually links, so you can go to the thing that you want to. Um, it can show the, um, the empty ones, which by the end of the book, you obviously would have stuff in each chapter, but at, at the planning phases, you would have a lot of empty chapters and I actually wanted to see that. So release timeline can do that. Um, however, what I don't see here is which event is in which uh, timeline. I had a different solution for that, where I basically just used the, the canvas to put three timelines next to each other, um, which is good, but not good enough. So if, if you take a look here, so for example, here in chapter one in the competition timeline, you see there are two events. One is the Bricklord versus Race. These events are like just made up. So <laughs> that, uh, just stupid examples, but there is also another event called other ranking matches. Um, 
because of that the whole timeline is pushed down a bit so like 10 chapter 10 in the clan war is here but it's further down here and a bit in the middle between these two up in the first paranoia timeline because the paranoia timeline has a single line uh, added line here so if if you just go through the whole thing it's it's a bit like close but no cookie like not exactly what i needed um so this this release timeline is based on the date of you um add-on so the date of you add-on basically lets you to query your notes and set up a few things by the way the setup for this is this simple it's literally this much it's very easy the setup for these is a bit more tricky because uh, here I separated the uh, like the paranoia from the clan war from the competition um, so that that's why they have it like that and the old timeline is to actually to be able to say that okay there is an end and there is a start so uh, that all the the empty ones are created even though there is nothing there but it does create the empty ones um, and if i would look into this one or this one they would be very similar to what i just showed you okay so so really timeline is based on data view so data view actually can do something similar formatting is not that nice but it can make something for you that that you want again very easy setup like look at that it's it's nothing complicated um pretty much just a basic like sql sql kind of expression um and it shows you this table this table is actually already pretty useful you see that okay in chapter one we have these four events and then you know chapter three chapter six blah 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 you go on so that that's not bad um just not quite good enough yet so what i would like to see is have the timelines side to side so in one line i can see everything that's happening in that chapter instead of like these four lines are chapter one now data view has a different way to get stuff which is uh using js code oh by I, I show you that one so js code is is a bit more tricky uh you actually have to like do some programming to be able to do that um and that's like mm, interesting not not for everyone i would say but for example with that one i just created this when you have like the chapter one chapter three i should have added a space there but i didn't chapter five chapter six it basically just groups up the events by chapter uh, uses the events name uses the events timeline so it's like it's nice still not doing the timeline next to each other thing but at least you know you have it grouped so easier to see what's in chapter one than in this table right um but not quite what i needed um so yeah this this is this much code by the way as i said and then i basically arrived to this one this one is very 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 close to the end result that i wanted to see so this is something that i can use as it is uh, so what what does it do so first of all it lists all the chapters the empty ones as well which neither of these did um, it has the different timelines side by side including the old timeline which is at the moment just used for start and end but it could be like used for oral things like okay i um at this point of time there is a i don't know meteorite is hitting earth or something like that um 
with, with this highlight, which is actually just baseline table, I didn't have to do anything for that. You can very easily just focus on one line saying that, okay, in chapter one, chapter three, etc., etc. Um, and, and you know, this, this is pretty much it. Uh, I had to use some CSS trickery to add those lines because the baseline was just a big black box with stuff everywhere. It was hard to say that, okay, exactly in which chapter is this uh, text? But now it's, it's fairly visible, but it's the, the gray is not that strong that it, it hurts your eyes or it makes reading the table hard. So yeah, the, this, is, this is, what, <laughs> what is what the end result was. However, <laughs> the code is slightly longer. I guess it could be a bit simpler than what I did at the end, uh, but it's not, not easy. On the other hand, it's basically copy paste code. So if you set your timeline events up like that, you basically just copy paste that piece and it will actually render this table for you, including all the different timelines, all the chapters between zero and the max that you use anywhere. It's not using like hardware values for the timelines or the chapters or anything like that. And what I also did, I put this out here on, on the canvas and I think it looks awesome. I, it's pretty much what I need. Um, as soon as I focus in, it, it does this again. So it helps me do this and this it's excellent. And Basically, if if I now say that, okay, let's add another paranoia event. Let's make a copy of this one. Let's call it paranoia event four. Let's put this into chapter 14. Uh, let's give it a name like um, nothing happens anymore. But the thing is, I don't even have to say this name. If, if I don't, it just uses this title. Timeline Paranoia, something. All right, so we did that. And we are back to Chapter Ender. And chapter Ender doesn't show it yet. No, it, it does, sorry, it's here. So already refreshed. And that, that was it. I just basically just added a new event and it's already on my timeline. And if I now go to Clan War and say that, let's make a copy. War doesn't go well. And this is the funny part. Um, so because of this, I might not be able to do it. So I need to edit here. Let's put it in chapter 11. And again, if we go back, the war doesn't go well. Yay. So yeah, th this is this is what I did. This is how it works. I hope you guys like it. Uh, any questions, let me know. And, you know, keep on writing. <laughs>